Hi, I'm Ashley Marie, and today we're making these Pikmin Onion Pod Pops. <laughs> Let's get started. The very first thing that you need to do is to create your mixture. Now, just like my Alice in Wonderland Pops, I like to use uh, Oreo truffle balls. So you take 36 Oreos, you crush them in a food processor, then you mix in eight ounces of softened cream cheese, and then refrigerate it and you're good to go. Now you can also use cake ball mixture, which is about an eight inch cake and about a cup and a half to two cups of frosting, depending on how moist your cake is. Again, crumble the cake, mix in the softened frosting, and then refrigerate it so that you have something firm to work with. While that is chilling, we want to make the daisies for on top of the onions and we want them to have a chance to dry. So I have some white gum paste that I have rolled out. You can use uh, fondant as well, but the gum paste will thicken and harder um, a little bit easier. And then I have one of these half mini ball pans and then a one and a half inch daisy cookie cutter. So you want to roll out your gum paste fairly thin. The thinner it is, the faster these will dry. You don't want to go so thin that they're, they crumble and break and they're too delicate. Now you want to take some cornstarch powder sugar mixture and sprinkle the tops or the bottoms, I guess, <laughs> of this uh, mini ball pan. This is where we're gonna put our daisies and we don't want them to stick later. So by putting this on, they'll just slide right off after they dry. Now these daisy cutters, you really need to make sure that you push this center in real good. Otherwise, they don't cut all the way into the center and then that's a huge pain. Now take some yellow fondant and roll it out. And using a number 10 tip, we're gonna cut out little flower centers. And then take your flower centers, dab a little bit of clear alcohol on them, and then press them onto your flower. So now my mixture is nice and chilled. And I'm gonna take a medium cookie scoop and make two scoops and put them together kind of hamburger them together. Once I'm happy with hamburger bun shape, I'm going to take one side and kind of press those points, those uh, corners into a point. So we're gonna have a nice fat rounded bottom and then it's gonna come up into a point. And that is the shape of the Pikmin homes, which are also called onions. So I guess basically a really fat onion shape. So now these are frozen and nice and firm and ready to work with. So I've cut skewers down to about six inches and I have three for each of the onions that's gonna hold them up on their little tripod legs. Take one, dip the end in here. Now technically, usually you would put these on the far outside, but I tried that and it just ripped right through the weight of it. So we're actually gonna have to do our dipping down below, which isn't quite where they actually are in the video games, but it's what's gonna hold up best for, uh, for the party. Try and make your legs even and do that for uh, all of yours. Now I made 12 and these onions come in three different colors, red, yellow, and blue. And so I'm doing four in each color. And these are about twice the size of a normal pop. So they're really big and really heavy. Now I take a scoop of my melted chocolate out and I dip it down inside and then I add that scoop back on top to help get the whole thing covered. Kind of turn it here and there so it's nicely covered and then pull it out and holding it as close to the roots as you can, shake off uh, that extra chocolate. I'm going to take one of the flowers, put a little dollop of chocolate on it and then put it right on the top of the point of these onions. And since the onions are cold, they should be setting fairly quickly. And then put these in the fridge to make sure they stay chilled and strong until the party. Our onions turned out great. I can't wait for the party. They're gonna look amazing next to the cake. Don't forget to check out more links to see the cake, the rest of the Pikmin party. I'm also gonna have links in the description box down below along with the recipe. Don't forget to leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite video game is to play and maybe I'll make something from that. Thanks for watching.